the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with you all amen beloved people of god have you ever gone through frustration of trying to explain something that people don't seem to get it you are repeating because they didn't understand but they are distracted by something else you are explaining again and again with metaphors life experiences but they are so clueless i am sure we all had those experiences because others behaved in that way and i am sure we must have also acted the same way towards others and it seems jim was in a bad mood and he thought let me just get out of here so he goes to a restaurant just wanted some space well however there is this waitress just started her new job that week and want to give the best customer service smiling away and checking on him every 5 minutes if everything is okay and all of course jim is not in a mood to receive any such hospitality he just wants the time alone he orders steak with mashed potatoes and calls her back and says well done please okay she goes away even broadening her smile and the man just shakes his head she comes back and serves the order he takes his first bite and that it was done rare all upset and says didn't you hear me say well done the waitress says oh thank you sir you're really kind i've been here for the whole week you are the first person who is really kind thank you so much i really appreciate your kindness hmm we must understand all the time the people in the new testament and the people around jesus have always misunderstood jesus his identity his mission and his role just when jesus thought okay my beloved disciples are finally on the track just when jesus was overwhelmed with happiness towards peter's response saying you are the messiah and just when he entrusted peter with the keys to the kingdom of god Peter did it again. In the Gospel of Matthew chapter 16, 21 to 28, that we see that Jesus was preparing them to what is to come. And when he knew, they recognized that Jesus is the Messiah. As we have seen last week, Jesus thought, oh, they are ready now. As the text says, Jesus began to show his disciples that, that he must go to jerusalem and undergo great suffering at the hands of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and on the third day be raised and peter took him aside and began to rebuke him saying god forbid it lord this must never happen to you but he turned and said to peter get behind me satan you are a stumbling block to me for you are setting your mind not on divine things but on human things peter must wonder what have i done why is jesus speaking to me like this what have i done really peter must be clueless when jesus said that he must be killed it is only normal that it would bother his loved ones in some cultures you know death is a forbidden word people simply don't like to utter they use euphemisms instead of death i can only imagine how jesus' words would make the beloved disciples feel but jesus' mission has never been a feel good ministry jesus even said that he came to bring sword it is a challenge christianity and discipleship is hard because our minds are set to human things while pretending that we are all about divine and being christian and being a disciple being a disciple is an everyday choice that we make to stay in the path that jesus walks and carry the cross when it needs to be only so we walk into the glory when jesus asks who do you say that i am peter says that he is the messiah yes the savior to save the humanity from their sins 
not from a territory right if god only wants to claim a territory don't you think god can just claim there is no need for god to fight but then we have always known for a savior is the one who fights for us but jesus shows us different jesus shows us that savior the messiah is the one who will sacrifice for us the disciples and his followers didn't understand this concept they didn't understand what jesus is trying to say similarly we too misunderstand jesus jesus always preached theology of abundance not theology of prosperity and we don't understand the radical difference between abundance and prosperity jesus preached theology of fruitfulness theology of fruits not theology of riches and we still don't get it once again jesus speaks of theology of glory and resurrection but we are stuck with cross cross is a human thing after all which is why he came as a human and that jesus will overcome and get to the glory a divine thing after he told peter not to be a stumbling block no matter what peter's intention is as we see in the text then jesus told his disciples if any want to become my followers let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me i have heard us all wrestle with this text it bothers us because we have to choose now to deny something for something else that we desire to deny something for something else that we desire if our desire is to be a disciple then we have a choice to make it's a crystal clear equation we can be real disciples to follow jesus and take the same path as jesus to carry our cross just like him and follow him it is a choice that we will have to make there are no two options in choosing to be a disciple it is not a either or situation the one and only situation a disciple gets to make a choice it is not imposed because it is an equation being a disciple of jesus to choose the path that jesus walked and simply follow it all depends on who jesus is in your life you can either desire to be in his path or deny to be in his path you just can't do both but then you know smart human mentality we want it both ways but denial or desire there is only one that you can choose if you think about it desire is always out of reach you can never reach your desire standing where you are you must stretch and reach and step out you must stretch and reach and step out the complacency the comfort zones must be denied and sacrificed to achieve your desires your goals your destinations you can stay in your comfortable seated positions and let go of your desire or you can let go of your comfortable positions and go and attain and reach and achieve your desires bearing your cross means to deny to let go to sacrifice to remove the stumbling block what is in your way that is a stumbling block for you to become a true disciple are you denying your discipleship to jesus because you are unwilling to carry the cross are you willing to let go of the glory that jesus promised because your temptation is being the stumbling blocks
are you willing to let go of the glory that jesus promised for you because you are not able to remove the stumbling block in your life in your path to follow jesus we all have those stumbling blocks but i know as people of god as the disciples of jesus there is that desire and it is not a desire to make once for a lifetime it is a desire that we have every single day to be a christian to be a disciple then let us get up from our complacency from our comfort zones and remove that stumbling block and follow jesus let us not be afraid of the cross because god will give us strength to bear that cross and that is the only way we can do it and that is what jesus has come down to show us to encourage us to inspire us because the promise is glory let us not be stuck with the cross let us not be the stumbling blocks in our own path to walk with jesus to follow jesus let us pray god we humble ourselves now in confession we want to be followers of jesus but we do not always want to follow jesus would we don't even want to listen when the conversation turns towards darkness and death we prefer to indulge ourselves we are eager to put down our crosses we cling tightly to our lives we grasp at worldly rewards holy and loving god forgive all of our thoughts and actions that would protect us from the path of christ amen